All right, so you're welcome. All right, so here we're working with sand that are not well colored and we're using them to make painting. So first of all, let me tell you where we get the sand from and then we'll just do a little demonstration to show you how it works. So this is the black sand, the volcanic sand that we get next to the African Renaissance Monument in Dakar. And uh, we also have the sand which is from the Iron Mine in Mauritania. And this is the sand from the Tenwa Desert from the northern part of Niger. And uh, we also have the sand which is from the Sahara Desert from the northern part of Africa, which is the biggest desert area. And the yellow one is from the Lompul Hills, is the way to St. Louis to the north. Uh, we also have the sand from the Pink Lake, 45 kilometers from Dakar. And uh, this is the sand from Kazma, it is in the south, in Cap Spring. The sand from the island, you have to dig up to get this kind of color. And there is also the white one, which is uh, from the beach of Sali, 84 kilometers from Dakar. And then to finish, we also have the green one, which is uh, from the Salum Islands, the green sand, which was uh, colored by the leaves of the mangrove trees, as you can see. So we can collect up to 15 naturally colored sands. And uh, as glue, we also use the sap of the young baba tree, which is uh, mixed with the gum from the acacia tree. So we use the glue to make uh, our drawings. So here, the artist is uh, drawing with the glue. He's making now the shape. And uh, later on, he just start putting the sand to make out the colors and the shadowings. So this is the most interesting part. All right, and uh, so this technique of painting also is uh, from the School of Fine Art that was founded by the first Senegalese president, Mr. Lepo Seda Senghor, which he made in order to promote the African art. Okay, so here you can uh, follow him carefully. Okay. Now. So in a few seconds, he'll start putting the sand, always starting with the darkest color. All right. <coughs> you can see. Yeah. Okay, now he starts putting the sand. Right, the always the starting with the darkest color, and then to finish it off with the lightest one. So in few seconds, the final product, let's see how it's going to look like. So here you got it, you see? Okay, and that's starting the continent. Yeah, Africa. yeah, this is the African yeah. continent with the, yeah, it's, it's a couple. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah, so this is the man, he's going to put the uh, lady on the, on the other side. Oh, wow. Yeah, as Very you can see. Nice. Yeah, so thank you. So, so this, using all the different sand. Yeah, all, right this yeah all the different sand to make uh, paintings. All right. You went to school for this. Yeah, the technique is from the School of Fine Art. The School of Fine Art? Yeah, yeah that was uh, built by the first Senegalese president, uh -huh. yeah, Mr. Senghor. Yeah, Mr. Lepo Seda Senghor. So As you can see. How long will it take him to make, finish it? To 30 minutes to finish this one. Oh. Yeah, 30 minutes, yes. As you can see. So now we just have to make it dry uh, with the sun, step by step, until the total finishes. So you can check out the final product, how it become. Once it is dry, you can uh, you see. So you can just touch and feel it. So you see, this is yeah, this is the fi the final product. You see. Wow. So you can, uh, yeah, as you can see. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, so this is so this is the technique of the sand painting. Yeah. All right. Okay. Brilliant. Okay. This is, uh, some of the skills in yeah. Senegal. Senegal. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. okay. Just right here. Yeah. Uh, so this is the final product. Okay. Okay. So you can uh, also see in case you can uh, the painting they for sale. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this size is here. They are ten thousand. Okay. okay. Five thousand the small one. Seven five the skinny ones and the biggest one twenty thousand. Okay. okay. So. Understood. Okay. Well, okay. guess what? Mm -hmm. I want that one. Uh, you li like the I Africa want, one? Okay. I, I want this one. Right okay. <laughs> I see how you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes when you see it being made, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not made in China. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Made in, Africa. It's in Africa, yeah. Let's put Gore22. If okay. you want, you can put Gore2022, put yeah. your names yeah. sure. in case. Yeah. Uh, you can, uh, or, or you want to give it to someone or you keep it for yourself? Yeah, yeah that's for me. Okay, yeah. let's put Gore22. All right, so. And J-A-Y, J-A-Y is the name. J-A-Y. J-A-Y, yes. Okay. 
J A Y. J A Y. J. Yeah, J. Yeah, yeah. 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 Marari, Okay. So I put J here. Yes, Go ahead, 2022. Okay. Hey. Ce qu'on fait là, c'est des tableaux à base de suivre. Il faut filmer. Après, tu c'est pas des Il faut filmer. Il faut filmer. Il faut filmer. Il la croix est à 45 km de Dakar. Là, c'est le sable du Sahara. Le sable jaune au nord du Sénégal. C'est le désert de Lompou, vers Sénégal. Il y a aussi le petit désert de Ténéric. Ça, c'est Niger, Mali, Burkina Faso. Les îles du Saloum, le sable de Mangrove, et les îles du Saloum, le sable de Mangrove et des Palitiers. Donc, aussi, le sable noir, c'est le volcan des Mamers. Ça, c'est à Dakar. C'est près du monument de la Renaissance africaine. Maintenant, la colle qu'on utilise ici, c'est la serre de Baobab. Vous connaissez le Baobab Voilà, ça c'est la serre de Baobab qu'on utilise pour dessiner tous les tableaux que vous voyez. Mais c'est aussi mélangé avec la gomme à la main. Alors ici, on va faire une bonne réaction. C'est pour vous montrer. Donc maintenant, on va faire une bonne réaction. Ou on va faire une bonne réaction. Ok, voilà, ok. Bonne idée. Open up your eyes and see all the fun and mystery. Take an African adventure with Darren and Destiny. From the mountains to the shore, so many things to explore. Take an African adventure with Darren and Destiny. The Adventures of Darren and Destiny. And Darren and Destiny are twin brother and sister. And you go on their adventures throughout the African diaspora, meaning so African diaspora destinations, primarily focused in Africa, but we go to South America, we're gonna to go to the Caribbean. Their first book is going to take you to Ghana. And then we're gonna go on a safari. And from there, we're gonna to go to Ethiopia. And then we go to Salvador, Brazil. And what the goal is, is to be able to inspire curiosity in the continent of Africa, in our children from a very young age, and to really tell a more accurate story. Most of our children are exposed to negative images, late night infomercials about how bad things are, everybody's sick, everybody's poor, everyone's uneducated, but that's simply not true. So what Darren and Destiny and their family do is they go to different African destinations. They are learning about these different places. You're beginning to see positive images, but still telling the truth. I mean, that's the important thing, to tell the truth about some of the things that have occurred. But it's all done on our children's level so they begin to understand it. And it begins to pique their curiosity. They begin to learn more. And hopefully one day they will want to explore and visit the continent of Africa and its many countries. There's just so much that Darren and Destiny are able to do and as they're doing it, it's, it's like they begin to open the minds of a, a new generation and they don't get bombarded and indoctrinated with negativity. They're actually able to see positivity and inspiring images and messages about the African diaspora as well as those who are still indigenous to the continent of Africa and they begin to learn more and, uh, and just see things differently. So I'm excited about introducing the adventures of Darren and Destiny.